Hey y'all, let's take a look at ratio. Let's do an oldie first. When x varies directly with y, how do we write the equation? Okay, if you remember, x varies directly with y, we go like this. We go x varies directly, there's your constant, times the y. That's how you write the equation. And then you figure out what k is and apply that to the new numbers and you go from there. All right, let's, let's do one. A varies directly as b. So here's our equation, of course. A varies directly as b. If a is 50 when b is 5, which means, okay, we'll go down here. a is 50 when b is 5. That tells us that the k is 50 divided by 5, so there's our k. We are going to use this equation again, though. Okay, they ask, what's the value of a when b is 7? Well, let's do it. If b is 7, of course, we don't know the add value of a. b is 7, we know k is 10. b is 7, and then a is going to be 70. Okay, that's the way we've done it before a jillion times, okay? The new way is just to simply write... Remember the last time we did those, oh, find the uh, similar triangle sides, x and y, a ratio to a ratio, is a ratio to a ratio, or side to a side, exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to write two blank fractions and set them up like this, okay? A varies directly as b, so if a is 50 when b is 5, we're just going to go, okay, we'll, 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 let's do it this way. Here's the uh, fraction that is in this, that's implied here. We have the first A to the second A compares to the first B over the second B, whatever those are, A, B, X, Y, whatever you want to call them, okay? So we'll write this first equation here. This is just stuff you've been doing for years, probably. So if A is 50, okay, in one of them, and then the value, what's the value of A, which means we don't know, okay? But if A is 50 when B is 5, well, then to match that up, the A with its 50 to B is 5 goes right there, okay? The, the value of A when B is 7, that's the second one that goes right there, okay? Now, you can see what this is going to be, okay? 50 you divide by 10, that's going to be your answer. What divided by 10? Anyway, you can cross multiply as well, so don't forget. So 5 times A equals 50 times 7, which is 35 times 10. Divide by 5, and you're going to get 70, just like we always have, just like this answer here. Right there okay so that is your implied ratio right here you don't have to write that down but you know you could if you want to all right and that's a direct variation so let's do another one cost varies directly as the number purchased that's kind of weird most most of the time um, cost varies indirectly as the number purchased in other words the more you buy of something the less it costs per item but we'll just take it for what it is Okay, cost varies directly as the number purchased. So here we go. So here's our old way. Cost varies directly, K, times, let's say, the number purchased. All right, so 12 can be purchased for $78. So the 78 is here, and the K is here, and that's going to be 12 of them can be purchased. All right, so if you divide, you know, 78 by 12, you will get 6.5 as your K. All right, and don't forget, we're going to use this equation. How much would 42 cost? Well, the old way, we're going to go like this. We don't know what the cost is. That's going to be C. How much would 42 cost? That's 6.5 times the 42 is the number. Oops, I forgot the 2. There it is. And the cost in this case will be $273. There we go. Okay. The second method, which we can use now, I mean, you might think this is an easier method. You can use either one you want. Um, but sometimes I'll say solve both ways. But this is the new method, or really it's one you've used before. This is the same thing as, oops, that should be a one. B sub one and then B sub two. This is the same thing as saying, oh, you know, um, I made 40 cupcakes and I it, it served 100 people. If, I'm, if I have 300 people, how many should I serve? It's the same kind of thing. It's no big deal. So let's do it this way. If 12 can be purchased for $78, how much would 42 cost? Okay. So, 12 can be purchased for 48, but so let's write that, all right? Let's make um, this column the number, and let's make this column the uh, cost. I mean, you could do either way. You could do, that's a C and that's an A. Okay, so the number we got for 12, and we also have the second one is 42, all right? Uh, the, the how much it costs for 12 matches up with $78, okay? And we're trying to find out the C on this one. So we go 12 times C is 42 times 78. 
which is <laughs> 42 times 78 is 75, that'd be 21, okay, 3, oh, for heaven's sakes, um, that'd be 3, 3, 76, I believe. Okay, close enough. All right, so we divide by that and you get 273 anyway. There you go. Same thing if you do that. You can use a calculator if you want to go on that one. Okay, that's our setup. Now, this is this is how it's different. Let's go back to the old way. When A varies inversely with B, this is the equation, right? That's going to be K, not times B, but divided by B. This is key to our new ratio type, all right? That's how the equation is written. The other equation that is implied, if you look back and see this is the equation that's implied when it's direct, very, uh, direct variation. This is what's implied when it is indirect. You need to, if you want to write that down, you can, but all you're going to have to do is go, okay, I'm going to match up the two numbers of a certain type. Then I'm going to match them up with another equation, but look, you're going to flip this one. This will not be a sub one over a sub two equals b sub one over b sub two. If it's inverse, you flip that second equation. So you'll see a, t a question like this. If you want to copy this down, you can, of course, anytime, pause it. Blues vary inversely as yellows squared. Let's do it the old way first, okay? So blues vary inversely, which means k over y squared, right? But 100 blues go with two yellows. We'll stop right there. We're going to use this equation, so we'll hold on to that. So 100 blues, so B will be 100. That goes with two yellows. My K is there. Two yellows, two squared is four. And again, if you wanted to cross multiply, one times K equals 100 times four, so K is equal to 400. All right. They ask, how many blues go with 10 yellows? Okay, we're still going to use this equation. How many blues, which means we don't know the blues, Go with 10 yellows. Well, we know the K is 400. 10 yellows, which means we're going to have 10 times 10, 10 squared, 100. So that means 400 divided by 100, or 4. There you go. Okay. The second way we do this, the new way, this is the, if it's inverse, don't forget, this is the equation that is implied. A sub 1 over A sub 2 equals B sub 2 over B sub 1. It's flipped the second one. You know what? You can flip either one of the fractions. It doesn't matter. Just don't flip both of them. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Let's say this is, I don't know, we'll call this the blues. Okay. And we'll call this the, uh, you know, yellows. I don't know. Okay. You know what? That's dumb. Let's call this the blues since it's B. Okay. And these are yellows. Okay. So let's go. What's the, uh, so 100 blues go with two yellows. All right. Let's just do the, uh, the yellows first. Okay. Two yellows, that's going to be uh, yellow squared, excuse me, so make sure you do that. So two yellows will be uh, this, that's the four. How many, and let's say, ten yellows is the other one, right? Okay, all right, there we go. So there's our first yellow. Oh, excuse me, it won't be ten yellows, it'll be, it'll be yellow squared, so that's a hundred. All right. all right, so a hundred blues go with two yellows, which means we're not going to put the hundred blues next to the two squared. We're going to put the 100 blues down here, and this is going to be the blue right there. You see that? We flipped it. We don't put it where it normally goes and matches. We flip the second equation. So you can see this is an easy solve. 4 over 100 equals what over 100? Obviously, it's 4, right? We already figured that out over here with the B. So there you go. Okay. All right. Let's try a practice problem or two, and uh, we will... Come back in just a few minutes. All right, let's pause it. Okay, first way will be cost varies inversely as the number purchased. So, cost varies inversely as the number purchased, so K over N. All right, that's our equation we're going to use for the first way. Okay, 15 can be purchased for 225. So, that's going to be $225 equals K over N. The number is 15. Okay, so again, cross multiply, use a calculator for heaven's sakes. 1 times K equals 225 times 15, which is 33.75. That's our K. Okay, the question is, how much would 42 cost? Well, let's just use the same equation. We don't know what the cost is. Mm -hmm. K is 33.75 and 42. And you can, of course, use a calculator for this one. That'll be 80.33. 
0.857142, and then so we'll just put 80.306. There we go. So that's the cost. That's the old way of doing it. Okay, let's try the new way. This is the new way. You know, a sub 1 over a sub 2 equals b sub 2 over b sub 1. All right, so we can make this the, I don't know, let's make this the cost and let's make this one the, you know, number. Doesn't matter, you can make the left one the end and the right one, you know, C and the right one C, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, so the cost, let's say, uh, the first cost, say how much would 42 cost? Okay, so we go, all right, um, the cost of the first one would be $225. The second one, we don't know how much, okay? All right, so the 225, they say 15 is purchased for 225. Normally, you'd go 15 over here. You're not going to, you're gonna flip it. The 15 goes down here. How much would 42 cost? That's gonna go up here this time, so you just flip it. So you have a 42 times C equals 225 times 15, which is 3375. If you notice, that's the same equation you got here. You're dividing 3375 by 42. You'll get the same answer as you always would. Okay. All right. Let's try B. See what you get. Okay. First method. I'm just going to go blue here. Blue is very inversely as yellow squared. So there's our old equation. K over Y squared. Okay. I'm going to use that for the first time. 100 blues. 100 blues. Go with three yellows, so we don't know the K. Three yellows, which means that's going to be Y time, uh, three times three is nine. Okay, so one K equals 900, so K is our 900. That's our constant. All right, how many blues go with 10 yellows? Let's go back to this equation. How many blues? We don't know. Go with 10 yellows, well, the K is 900. 10 yellows, going to be Y squared. That is 100, so the B is nine. There we go. That's how many blues. All right. Let's try the other method, which is, don't forget, you got one over the other one equals the flip of the other ones. Not the ones that go together. You're going to flip one of those. Okay. So let's say here, um, 100 blues go with three yellows. So we could go, you know, 100. We got 100. Blue, let's do the blues. Let's go the blues on the right. Okay. So let's say... You know what the heck with this? Let's, let's go with the yellows on the left. We'll start with yellows, all right? 100 blues go with three yellows. Okay, so three yellows, that, but we're gonna square it, don't forget. So three yellows, that'll be nine. Okay, the other yellows, um, 10 yellows, that's gonna be 10 squared or 100, right? Okay. How many blues go with, excuse me, 100 blues go with three yellows. So we're not going to say, um, 100 blues go with three yellows. The 100 won't match over here, it'll be down here. And the question is, how many blues go with 10 yellows? There's your B. You can look at that right away and go, nine over 100 equals something over 100. Well, obviously it's nine, no, there it is, okay. All right, just flip one of those equations, you got it. You know what, if you try and try and try and this is like not working for you really well, just use either method for heaven's sakes. Life is too short, so. All right, see you next time.